Hey y'all and welcome to Summertime Tarot. This is going to be a general reading on money and career for the sign of Leo. Alright, so first what we're going to do is we're going to pick a card. Just basically going over the theme for what you may experience for the month. Then we're going to jump into the reading. We're going to see you know, where you are currently, what your goal is, and what you can do in order to best help you along your path towards that goal. Then we're going to pull some advice cards and a final message from Spirit with the postcards from Spirit. Alright, let's get into it. Alright, Spirit, thank you for being here with me today as we do this reading for Leo on money and career. Alright, thank you for all of your messages. May they be clear, concise. Easy for me to interpret so that I may pass them on to those that need them when they need them. I set the intention that all messages that come to me may be of truth, love, light, and healing. May they reach those who need it when they need it. Alright. What's going on for Leo? For the month of December 2019, as it concerns money and career. Okay, two came out. All right. Let's see. So we have tsunami wake up call and winter solstice reflection. Okay, so what what I'm picking up with this is you might have experienced something that kind of jolted you, shook you up, and is causing you to go into some kind of reflection as it deals with your money and your career. Yeah, you may be feeling, you know, out in the cold, maybe feeling like things aren't working out as you'd hoped. Things are changing and shifting in ways you may not have seen coming. All right, so let's see what we can do about this. Leo's. Okay, it looks like for this month, your goal could be trying to get your bearings about you, um, really balancing out. So with this tsunami, I'm really getting that maybe you 
Yeah, something shook you or came in and wiped, wiped things out, completely changing them from what you were used to. And this has put you in a space of reflection where you're trying to understand, you know, what happened or how to move forward. And so with these three cards being your foundation, I'm really getting that you have a great sense of faith and passion, curiosity I'm hearing, and desire to really stand on your own two feet and work your way up out of something. Um, so looks like the goal for this month is really going to be starting out and investing and giving to what it is you want to grow. Duh, this seems so general. Yeah, so it looks like for the month of December, you could be in a space where you're trying to juggle more than one thing, more than one project, more than one thing that you're trying to get off of the ground. And so what you have as your foundation is this ability to really quell your fears is what I'm hearing and really focus your intention and your energy into balancing yourself and staying focused on what it is you're trying to accomplish. So with this hangman being, you know, the driving force for this month, you may feel like your hands are tied and it could be because of the tsunami, this reflection period. Yeah, because you're in a reflection period. You're trying to understand, you know, the next moves and what's going to come up since this tsunami. I don't know what this tsunami is, but it's something that really changed things. And what I'm really picking up is with this three of cups here, I'm getting like a sense of celebration. Like what you, So the challenge may be actually get into a space of peace and even rejoicing at this change, this shakeup, this space of not knowing where things are headed completely, the uncertainty of it all, and really taking this reflection period to understand, you know, what you have, what you're working with, and how you can use that to grow financially rather than you know being stuck on seeing it as a setback See, you know all right so let's do three cards for advice all right so you got the moon Two of Wands. Let's get one more card. Two. Mm. All right, these are the two that wanted to come out. All right. So what I'm really feeling is like the advice here is to really focus your energy and your attention on, you know, the thing, like, like many people say, focus on what you can change, not what you can't change. So really invest your time and your energy into what it is you want and where you would like to see yourself um, while you're in this reflection period. So instead of spending your time in this reflection period, thinking about all that went wrong or all that could go wrong, really take the time to um, be hopeful and to plan ahead and think about where you where you would like to go, where you would like to see yourself, and really start putting the wheels in motion towards that outcome and really keeping faith and, and balanced and working with what you have 
And also, I'm, I'm really getting being open to receiving, right? And you may feel like, you know, oh, I, I'm not trying to take no handouts, but it's like really seeing that these aren't handouts. Well, well, they are, but they're handouts from the divine, not from other people. See it as, you know, um, what you put out is what you're going to get back. And it doesn't matter who gives it back to you because in reality, it's all coming from the divine, from God, whoever it is you, you know, call on and pray to or believe in. So really, you know, spend your time healing and digesting what has happened, but also don't spend too much time in a, in a negative space. Try and transform that energy into something more positive and think about what you can do to get out of this, you know, energy. So let's go ahead and pull some cards of advice. All right, let's see. What do we have for our Leos for the month of December 2019 when it comes to career and money? Thank you, thank you, thank you. And with this Three of Cups, I'm also getting, like, don't feel bad for wanting to feel good. Like, you don't deserve to be in a space where you just feel like a failure. Everybody deserves to know their worth and know that they are worthy because you are. You are worthy of happiness and joy no matter what you have done or what you think you deserve, you know. You deserve to be happy and to celebrate even when things aren't going as planned. Mm -hmm. And so our card for advice, we have just asked. There are many here in the spirit world that can assist you at this time. We are made up of the divine source, your loved ones, friends, guides, angels and spirit help helpers who are waiting to assist you. We are your spiritual team and all you have to do is ask for our help and guidance. Yeah, like I was saying, don't be afraid to ask. Forgiveness, yeah. And with this, I'm really picking up, you know, forgive yourself. If you feel like you made a misstep or you did something wrong to incur some kind of grand judgment or punishment that you think you're receiving, you're, that's not what it is. Forgive yourself for any wrongdoings you may think you have done um, or any mistakes you've made and forgive others as well because forgiveness is really for you it's about getting you into a more open and honest and fearless you know loving space so that you can receive all that you are worthy of receiving right. okay and we have hope yeah it says, your loved ones in the spirit world know when to reach out if they see you're at a low point. Whether you're caught up in a difficult situation or struggling with someone specific in your life, there is always hope. Yeah, never give up hope. It's, it's working itself out. Keep your faith with this temperance card. It may be hard to begin with, but things are really going to work themselves out and come together as they're supposed to. And with this here, you know, things are healing, whether you see them or not. All right. Any other advice for our Leos for the month of December in regards to money and career? All right. Got two last cards here. 
And we have Hello from Heaven. Your loved ones in the spirit world want to connect with you as much as you want to connect with them. They think you've been thinking of them and they're sending you signs and symbols to show you how much they love you to prove they're with you at this time. Yeah. So I'm really getting that with the Six of Pentacles. Like, if someone offers you something, you know, and you may feel like pride, prideful and proud, not wanting to receive, you know, because you think it's kind of... um makes you less than just see it as you know a gift from heaven and the people or you know the the divine god um the universe is giving you all right and then it says give back here so you know in our times of need we sometimes get so focused on ourselves that we forget to think of others and how we can actually serve them so if you are able to you know just give back in some way with a smile with a, a nice word or any way that you possibly can and that most certainly that energy that you put out is certainly going to come back to you all right, so let's pull one last card from Postcards from Spirit to see if there are any last messages for you guys for this month in regards to money and career. All right, any last messages for videos for the month of December 2019 in regards to money and career? Thank you. So it reads, Dear you, you are in such good shape right now that we're all doing a happy dance. In this moment, you have the power to make a choice to get with spirit and co-create a miracle. You may wonder where this is all going, but if you want to manifest your desires for the highest good, you need to stay focused on the now. All power is in the present moment. Ask yourself, what are your dominant thoughts now? What beliefs are you motivated by? Do you have clarity right now? How is your conscious contact with the divine? Are you plugged in or are you trying to do life all by your small self? Get rid of negative energy now. Resentments be gone. Forgiveness and love enter, please. You can do your life beautifully and create your most powerful future right here, right now, in this moment. Aren't you thrilled to know you have a huge cheering section over here? Love and hugs always. All right. I want to pull one more. says dear you we're a chatty bunch over here always talking about how to support you in your life's journey we communicate to you through the language of oracles dreams signs metaphors and omens in your life on earth however clarity in your communication is essential to being understood you don't speak in symbols and if you did you would definitely confuse things right now you're facing a situation in which you're being asked to have integrity be clear and learn how to ask for your needs to be met the first step is to admit out loud that you have needs. The second is to ask out loud for them to be met. And the third is to allow the other person, organization, or even us to answer you. When you follow these steps, you are most definite, You can most definitely expect an answer. In your favor, affirmative, we say, loving you so very much. Yes. Really asking, you know, don't be afraid to ask for help. Ask for what you need from whoever you can ask from. Be it, you know, the people around you, the divine, God, whomever you believe in or pray to, you know. If you need, there's someone out there who will be able to give it to you. You just have to ask and be, be willing to ask and also to receive. 
All right, so that's all I have for you this month, Leo. Um, please let me know if this reading resonated down in the comments. Please like, share, subscribe if you'd be interested in seeing more videos like these. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Hope to see you soon. Thank you.